Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Smallest one engine aircraft coming to air venture. Trig introduces the TX-56, TX-56A, and TX-57, TX-57A. And new technology makes filing noise complaints easier. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's July 13th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Over the past years, a and Jim Campbell has often remarked about a fondness for the smallest twin-engine aircraft he ever flew, and a half a dozen varieties that he had the chance to test. This year, a Columbon Cree the smallest twin-engine manned aircraft in the world, will take off from the top of a moving Ford Explorer, as a part of the air show on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday night. The Cree designed by French engineer Michel Colombon in the early 1970s, will be flown by Lionel Adroit of Team Cree Lucy Chapiro Sarda and Daniel Prattville will be in the Ford Explorer launch ground craft. This will be Team Cree first public performance in the U.S. Custom rails made by Thule are affixed to the top of the Ford for the Cree to sit in as the car gets up to speed so the airplane can take off. The Tiny Cree Cree's original plans called for a 12-foot, 10-inch length and 16-foot, 1-inch wingspan. Team Cree Cree's Cree Cree was transported from Toulouse, France, to Oshkosh via both road and sea transport. This will be the third time a Cree Cree has made an appearance at Oshkosh, and the first since 2009. After the break, Whirly Girls International announces 2018 Conference Scholarship recipients. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus Engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero newsnet With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Whirly Girls Scholarship Fund Incorporated announced that six women have been chosen as the recipients for the 2018 Mid-Year Scholarships. Helicopter pilots Melissa Hanthorn, Samantha Hansen, Amy Hart, Heather Dingman, Kelly Murphy, and Tasha Seifer each received a scholarship to attend one of three industry-leading conferences. The Heli Success Career Development Seminar, the CHC Safety and Quality Summit, or HAI Heli Expo. Attendees at these conferences have the opportunity to expand their knowledge, strengthen their networks, and increase aviation safety. Having set sail from France on June 15th, Global Wind Day, ESA's Aeolus Wind Satellites has arrived safe and sound at the launch site in French Guiana. While almost all satellites traveled by aircraft, Aeolus's journey was rather different. It traveled all the way across the Atlantic from St. Nazaire, western France, to the port of Cayenne, French Guiana, by ship. Davenport, Iowa Municipal Airport authorities have updated a fuel farm fire that occurred June 30th that was the result of a man crashing his car into the fueling facility following a high-speed chase with police. While fleeing from law enforcement, the vehicle crashed through an airport gate and proceeded down taxiway C, impacting the Avgas fuel system. This resulted in a fire that destroyed the pumping system of the Afgas dispenser. The person driving the car was identified as Scott M. Schaefer, 29, of Clinton, Iowa, who was fatally injured in the accident. The FAA has proposed a $150,000 civil penalty against Metropolitan Aviation LLC of Manassas, Virginia, for allegedly violating FARs pertaining to aircraft maintenance. 
On February 21, 2017, the pilot in command of a Metropolitan Charter flight discovered that the Dassault Falcon 50 jet's primary flight display was not working during a trip from Washington Dulles International Airport to Manassas Regional Airport in Virginia. The pilot recorded the malfunction in the aircraft maintenance log. Well, that's it for today's show on the Patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Trig Avionics has announced plans for a future NAVCOM product family for early 2019. The newly designed TX-56 NAVCOM. There is an introductory list price of $3,195 for the TX-56A, the 760-channel version of the NAVCOM. This is certain to appeal to aircraft owners and flight training organizations looking for high-quality and great-value NAVCOM. The first public showing of the TX-56 range will be at EAA AirVenture in July. The European version is expected to list at $3,495. The TX-56 family will be available with 8.33 kHz or conventional 25 kHz spacing and with 10 watt or 16 watt transport power. Only 1.3 inches high, it requires no cooling fans. The TX-56 has a high resolution display with suite function that uses a single button to shift the display from COM to NAV. The NAV will automatically load the identifier for the selected VOR, while over 200 identifiers can be saved in the database. But Trig will also be introducing a new 3-inch CDI called the TI-106. This solid-state device offers a reliable and highly legible display that is augmented by superior LED lighting. The TI-106 will have a list price of $2,499. After these messages, new technology makes filing noise complaints easier. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Hello fellow pilots, I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. Well, we're headed off to Oshkosh for Air Venture and we're really looking forward to it. Martha and I are going to be making a bunch of talks there. And we hope you'll come by and say hi to us. We'd love to meet you. And by the way, stay tuned right here to PropWash. We're going to be making some exciting announcements direct from Air Venture. You've seen multiple stories here on Aero News about residents complaining about noise from aircraft following the implementation of new next-gen flight patterns by the FAA. Now a former U.S. Air Force test pilot has developed a device that makes it easier for people living under those paths to file noise complaints, which is just what we did not need because the system can be so easily abused. Chris McCann, a software engineer, lives in a fluent area of La Jolla, California, where he allegedly began experiencing an increase in aircraft noise. He said that he found the noise only annoying, but felt the process of registering complaints was time-consuming and complex. He developed the Air Noise button. The device connects to the Internet, and when the button is pushed, it automatically identifies the nearest aircraft and registers a complaint. McCann said he felt it was his patriotic duty to help people register complaints, but says nothing about the way the system can be abused by NIMBYs. Some 200 people around the country are currently using the device, and they have registered nearly 300,000 complaints. McCann charges $24 to ship the device and $5 per month for the service. He claims the money only covers his cost. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside for our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. 
Have a great weekend and see you Monday.